Hello everybody and welcome to this lead quizzes tutorial on the different ways that you can have your quizzes on your website. Now by adding your quizzes to your website, you can capture more leads and make more sales. Okay, so today I'm going to show you first of all, how you can embed your quiz on a page on your website, how you can add this page to the website navigation menu, how you can embed your quizzes on um, blog posts on your website using um, the embed call to action functionality we have on lead quizzes. I'm going, also going to be showing you how you can enable an announcement bar on your website of your quiz and how you can set up um, a pop-up of your quiz on your website. Okay, so let's jump into it. Now, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have your quiz ready and published. Now, once you've done that, you go to your lead quizzes account, you go to embed and tracking, in here, you're going to find the embed and tracking code for this particular website account, okay? Now you copy the embed and tracking code. You go to your website. And for this tutorial, we're going to be using WordPress and we're going to be using the WordPress Elementor Team Builder, okay? So, but you can also do this on various websites, Wix, Squarespace, you name it, okay? So on WordPress, you look for, um, Plugin. Now on the plugin, there's a plugin particular called header and footer script. Once you install this plugin, if you go to settings in here, you can find this plugin um, in there. Okay. So go to plugin, install the plugin called header and footer script. Once it's installed, you activate it and then you can find it in here. Okay. Now, once you click in there, you're going to see the header and the footer section. Okay. Now, all you need to do is go in and paste your script. Okay, now once you've done that, save it. Now what happens is because I'm using the plugin, this script is going to be global to the entire pages on my website. But in the case where you wanna have the script on just particular pages, you can go to that particular page and you can um, install the, query, the script on the page, you're gonna see a section called header and you put the script in there. But I'm gonna use the header for the plugin because I want the script to be you know, global to all the pages on my website. And what happens is in that case, when you wanna enable or activate a website pop-up or announcement bar, you will need to do this again on individual pages. You, know, you can just by exclusion, select or inclusion, include or exclude what pages you wanna have the pop-up or the announcement bar to show up in, okay? So now I've saved this. Okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to embed our quiz on a page on our website. Okay, so I save this, I go back to lead quizzes. Okay, I click, I have installed the tracking code. Once I do that, I put in my website's URL. URL, I click verify. Now, because the code has been successfully installed on the website under the head down for the script section, once I click verify in here, it should give me a successful verification. That means the code was successfully installed and lead quizzes can read the code on your website. Okay. And also, you're going to see um, the icon in here is going to change to green. That shows successful. Okay. Now, the next step is you want to go to the quiz itself that you want to have embedded on the page on your website. Once you're in the quiz dashboard, you go to the share section. Now in there, you're going to find the embed code for this quiz. Okay, now you copy the embed code. Um, you go to your website page. So in this case, I created a new page called quizzes. It's empty, okay? And I'm also using the Elementor Team Builder. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna type HTML. I'm gonna pull this to the section. And I'm going to paste my embed code. Now, once I do that, you now if I give it a couple of seconds, you can see that my quiz has fully embedded in here, okay? Now I can also decide to, you know, go back to late quizzes check configure the width and the height to suit my website, okay? But we're not gonna do that now. We're gonna go back to the quiz. On the website, it's been successfully embedded. We're going to click update. 
and now we have it on this page. Okay, so successfully embedded on your lead quiz page. Now, once we've done that, the next step is we go back to our website. Now we want to add this page to the website navigation menu. Okay, because we want to keep everything in house on your website. So we go back to um, your website, and then we go to appearance. We go to um, menu. All right. Now in here, we can decide to add that particular quiz page to the menu. Okay, so I'm just gonna call this, for example, Elvis menu. We're gonna search for quizzes, which is the page. So quizzes, add to menu. All right, so we have the blog, we have the quizzes. We're going to save this. And if we go to our um, website and we refer to the page, we should see quizzes in here, okay? And if we click in there on the quizzes, it should redirect us to the page that have the quiz um, embedded. Okay, so that was the first step. That's how you can have the quiz embedded on your page on your website and how you can add this particular page to your website navigation menu, all right? Now, the next step is we're going, I'm going to show you how you can also add this quiz as an embed call to action to your home page. Okay. Now, if we go back to our home page, now in here you can see you know, we have a embed call to action. And in here we can have the quiz. Okay. And that is with Elementor, that is quite easy. Um, so you go to the home page. All right. You go to the section, to the button. And in here I can just simply embed add the URL to the page I have my quizzes um, embedded on, which is this, all right? So once I do that, I update it, it's all saved. No, if I click in here, it's gonna redirect me. All right, so let's test that. Let's go back, if I click here. It should redirect me to the page that has the quiz embedded in it, all right? So that's how you can have the quiz embedded as a call to action on the home page of your website. Now I'm going to show you how you can enable your quiz as an announcement bar on your website. Okay, so let's go back to the home page. So we want to have the quiz in here as an announcement bar. Okay, so we're going to go to our late quizzes. We're going to go to the quiz. Under the share tab, you go to announcement bar. Now in here under appearance, you put in the title of your quiz. So I'm just gonna grab it, title. When you put what you want the button to say, take quiz, okay? You can customize this to look and feel similar to your brand. But for now, I'm not gonna do much customization. I just put this a bit black, okay? And then you save it. The next step is you decide what you want to happen when they click on this take quiz. Do you want it to be enabled on what devices? Okay, so we're gonna put for all devices. Now we wanna trigger this um, to show up on a specific page. Okay, we wanna have this on all the pages. Now remember I told you because we have the quiz, um, the I mean, the tracking code installed in the plugin, it makes it global to all the pages. So if I select trigger on all pages embed and tracking code, this announcement bar is gonna be triggered on all the pages. But at the same time, I can decide to select what pages I want the announcement bar to trigger on, okay? And in that case, I go in here, I pick an exact match, and I add the URLs, and you can add multiple URLs, okay? But in this case, I want this to trigger on all the pages that have embed and tracking code, which in my case will be all the pages on my website because I have the embed code um, installed globally via the plugin, okay? So trigger on all the pages. Now you do that, you save it. Now what behavior do you want the announcement bar to take, okay? Do you want a point click for it to trigger a website pop-up or do you want it to redirect them to a particular 
landing page. Okay. In my own case, I would like them to be redirected to the lead quizzes, to the page we just had um, the quiz embedded on. Okay. So I can just simply let's go in here. Lead quizzes, and I want us to be directed to this page when they click on the um, announcement bar call to action button. Okay. Now, for positioning, do you want the announcement bar to be fixed at the top, or do you want it to go down with the scroll of your website? Okay. So, I want it to push down as the website um, flows. And the frequency, do you want to always show, or do you want it to hide um, for a number of days after someone has closed it? I want it to always show in my case. So, I'm going to save this. Okay, now once you've done that and you activate it in here, if I go to my website and I refresh the browser, I should see the announcement bar at the top if it's properly installed, All right? There you can see it, okay? And because I put it at a fixed position, when I scroll down, it doesn't go with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go to behaviors, and I'm gonna set this in here, save it, Refresh. Okay, and that where I say scroll, you know, is fixed, which is what I wanted in the first place. Okay, so that is how you can activate an announcement bar of your quiz on your website, and when they click on take quiz, they get redirected to the page that has the quiz embedded on it. You know, and it still keeps everything in house on your website, and they can decide to close this out. But upon refresh, it will show up again because in here you set it. I, I set it to in here always show. Okay, so that's how you can enable an announcement bar on your website. Now, next, I'm going to show you how you can activate a website pop up for of your quiz on your website. Okay, now for that, you need to make sure that you have the tracking code installed, also similar to the announcement bar. You Need to make sure the tracking code is properly installed. That is why that was the first thing we did. Okay. So once that is done, you go to website pop-up on your lead quizzes dashboard. Okay. Trigger options, set what devices you want it to be triggered on. Do you want it to trigger on all the pages that have the tracking code? Or do you want it to be triggered on specific pages? In my case, I want it on all the pages with the tracking code, which is going to be all the pages on my website. Okay. All right, now once you do that, you save it. For behaviors, you know, what behavior do you want your website pop-up to take? You know, do you want it to load when the page loads? Do you want the website pop-up to show up after a time delay? So in here you can have five, 10, 15, you know, as much time in delay as you want before the pop-up shows up. Or do you want the pop-up to show up when your audience is trying to exit your website? You know, in most cases, you use this, you know, to try and catch your audience attention back to your website page when you try to exit. Okay. Or do you want it to show up when you scroll down to a certain percentage of your website page? Okay. So these are all the behaviors. In my case, for this tutorial, we're going to let this um, trigger after the page loads. For frequency, do you want it to show up always, or do you want to hide it for a number of days after someone has closed it? No, I'm going to leave it always. Then in here you have, if the visitor has completed the lead quiz contents, don't show again on or off. You know? So this means if I take the quiz, I filled in my information, do you want it to show up for me again or not? You know, in most cases, you're going to leave this as um, off, so it doesn't show up again for the first that's completed your quiz, so you don't have duplicate emails or, you know, that sort of a thing. So we're gonna leave the set on for now because this is a, um, a tutorial. So we're gonna save this. And we're gonna set this to active. Now, if I go to my, if I go to my website, you know, if I go to the homepage, If I refresh the home page, just a long time. Sorry, set this to active. That was missing. 
So go to the home page, refresh it. Now my website pop-up should show up. There you have it, okay? So I can decide to take the quiz in here. I can decide to close it, all right? And that is how you have your website pop-up you know, activated on your website, okay? Now don't forget you have different behaviors. You can test out the behaviors and based on what you're trying to achieve, what your goal is. But a very good um, behavior to use is the exit intent and that helps you bring back your audience that are trying to exit your website without performing an action. Or even if they did, it helps them redirect them to other sections of your website where so you have other contents, other promotions, or you know, you name it. Okay. Now, next, I'm going to show you how you can embed a call to action on your, let's say, in between blog posts or on a page on your website. Okay. Now, for this tutorial, we're going to use the same page that we just had with Chris embedded. Or rather, we're going to use the home page. Let's just use the home page in this case. Now, embed call to action. You go in there, you add a title. This is the title. Okay. And in here we have start quiz. Now you can also decide what happens when they click on start quiz. Do you want to activate the website pop up or do you want to redirect them to a page that has the quiz embedded on it? Similar to what we did for the announcement bar. In this case, I want to activate the website pop up because I just have my website pop up um, turned on. Okay. Now, next, you can customize it, the look and feel, right, to be similar to your website. Okay. And then you save it. Now, once you do that, it's going to produce a little code in here that you can copy. Okay. Now you copy this, you can embed this in between blog posts. You can embed it any section of your website. So for example, in this case, I'm just gonna go to the home page. Now in here, so let's just add, add a section. Okay. Let's add element HTML in there. And then we're going to paste the code. Let's go back. Let's save this. Okay. Okay. Where we are, update. Okay, and if I go to the home page, I refresh it. Let's turn up the now. In here, you can see what the call to action we just created. You no, know? but in case you have a blog post, this looks better in between text so that way when your audience are reading through the text. You know, before the continue one, they can take the quiz and continue down the content you have on your blog, you know. But that is what you do. You simply grab the code in here, go to your website page, to the section of your website, you wanna have the embed call to action embedded, and you paste the code in there and it's gonna show up, right? Now, these are different ways that you can have your quizzes um, on your websites so that you can use to generate leads from the traffic coming to your website and like i mentioned when you have your quizzes on your website you tend to generate more leads and sales because you have people visiting your website every day you know? so it's good once you create a quiz to have it on your website right away have a great day cheers